This is Jacob Harkins with Vintage View, and uh, in today's isolation quarantine mode, I've uh, managed to wrangle a good friend, winemaker, uh, Paul Bonacquisti from the Bonacquisti Wine Company. How you doing, Paul? Doing great, Jake. Good to see you. Paul, we can't hear you. No, you can't hear me. No, no, now we're good. We're good now. Okay. Um, so yeah, now good I can to see you. Yeah. All right. Good to see you. So, so Paul is the, like I said, winemaker of Bonacquisti Wine Company based in Northwest Denver. Uh, as he likes to tell everybody, the, uh, the corner of I-70 and Pecos. Um, Colorado wine, good stuff. Uh, and so we're going to take a little tour of his tasting room. We're going to talk about what he's doing and, and how he, basically, I want to make sure everyone knows how to get his delicious wine. Yeah. <laughs> what's tasting good and, and all that good stuff. So um, first and foremost, Paul, let's give you the, the nice plug. We know that you, your tasting room is closed because of the coronavirus um, stuff, um, but people can still get your wine. Will you tell the world how we can get that delicious Colorado juice? Yeah, right now we, uh, we are closed, but open by appointment only. So we, uh, if you want to come for curbside wine pickup, uh, you can go to our website, bonacquistywine.com. Uh, you'll see a link to click for curbside and you can set an appointment between noon and five and, um, and then just come on down. So otherwise, um, you can order directly from our website. We're doing a $10 flat ground shipping, uh, anywhere. And we also do free North side delivery, which is, uh, the zip codes around, uh, around the winery, which are 80211, 80212 and 80221. Question, and I know the answer, sadly. Can anybody still get this wine? Uh, only if you come to my house. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> one's uh, that one's long gone. Why that wine sold out? Why did that wine sell out, Paul? Yeah, that, uh, that 2017 Cab Franc got a 90 points in Wine Enthusiast and, uh, and was the editor's choice uh, as well for that, uh, for that particular uh, issue that came out. Um, I think it was about a year ago this time. Yeah, yeah. I still yeah. have, uh, this is one of two bottles. I feel like one of them is not going to survive the quarantine. <laughs> M- maybe both. We'll see how thirsty I get. Definitely. Uh, so we know that it's a little quiet around there um, because people aren't, but let's give a little bit of a, I'd love for you to take a little tour of the of the tasting room. This is one of my favorite little spots um, in Denver because there's lots of events and stuff when, when the sun's out and summertime. Yeah. Um, some local art and all that. So why don't you show the good people on Facebook Live and who'll be watching this later what we're looking at. So that that's yeah. This that's, is the front door. <laughs> we'll take you from the front door, and um, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, this is our tasting room. When you walk in the front door, we have a lot of colorful artwork by local artist Daniel Luna. He's actually our our label artist. He's the one who took the concepts for my wines and put it on canvas. And those are the, that's the artwork above the bar that I'm showing you now. That's what we feature on our labels. So, um, but yeah, here's our, our tasting counter. And of course it's, um, it's kind of a mess, uh, because we've been shipping out a lot of wine. Yeah. Um, well, that's good. It, that's a good problem. Yeah. Which is good. And then over here to my right is the, is our production area. Um, Everything got spread out after the uh, first shutdown. Um, so we don't do we do a lot of uh, events here, uh, including live music on Friday nights. But uh, we made some adjustments since there w- there wasn't going to be anything up until at least May 11th here in the city of Denver. So yeah. we we kind of turned back into a working winery again and uh, emptied out the, our wine storage um, down the highway. I brought all the wine back over here. Uh, But normally this is where people would sit. (laughs) Yeah, I know we had a, we had a, we had a vintage view party there before you go up the stairs. I need to, why don't you peek behind the bar and show everybody. Oh, of course. It is product placement and why, uh, because (laughs) <laughs> One, you've got beautiful wine labels, and it's amazing how well they're shown off when you put them in label forward wine racking by Vintage View. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and uh, a little side note, Paul was, I believe he might have been the first customer to do to actually purchase our stemware rack when we first launched that. So 
got the great label. Yeah, label I was pretty. I know. I, there. I, I think I was on it. Um, yeah. So this is our uh, vintage view wine racking uh, system here. We love it. Uh, of course, with our labels, we like the label out and um, fits very nicely under here. And then. Yeah, and then here's our glass racking that works out really well. This is making you look really tall. I feel like I have to reach up to get to those glasses. When I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, like a, not not too far. This is, this is eye level. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's our then, vintage um, view, man. We love it. If if someone were to so obviously I know you speak for about most of your you, know, you love all your wines but if uh, someone's never had your wine and they're looking to either do the curbside pickup or free northside delivery or having it shipped what would be your must have Bonacristi wine like don't miss this out of the selection you don't want to miss this <laughs> Vinny No Neck this is this is our house red. Um, our perennial favorite, named after my son, Vincent. This is Sangiovese, and it's just good. Um, real, it's easy That's drinking. Good. It's not, um, um, it has a big, uh, it's like a, a bold uh, baked cherry characteristic, has some hints of cinnamon. Um, there's even uh, some fennel, uh, profile in it especially when you pair it up with italian sausage it comes right out so just a all-around great everyday red great um do you have any uh, uh newer vintages of the cab franc uh currently no but uh, we do have if you like something structured like that uh right now we have our um colorado reserve merlot this I is that the other night by the way Oh, did you? Um, what yes, you think? It was. I, I, I liked a lot. That was the um, when you did a private label bottle labeling for us when we came in and, and used your machine, and um, that was sitting in my rack, and as that was one of the first casualties of the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really. Uh, it was. A, it was. A, it was a solid wine. I, I. I don't drink a lot of Merlot from Colorado, uh, at least on its own. So it was a treat to taste Merlot on its own in Colorado. Um, I think you nailed it with the structure, the finesse, um, probably could have aged in my racking a little bit longer. Um, I probably jumped the gun a little bit, but you know, Hey, desperate times call for opening more wine, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what else? So we're, we're going to, hopefully, uh, everyone who sees this is going to go to Bonacristi wine.net. Com. Bonacristi wine.com. Com. And they're going to choose one of three options to get your delicious wine. They're going to, if they're in our neighborhood, 80211, they're going to get free north side delivery. Correct. If they're in Colorado local and want, don't mind making a drive, they're going to get curbside pickup, safe and, and sound. Just call ahead by appointment. By appointment. And, and anyone outside of that region or just doesn't want to deal with anything, um, you will ship wine at a $10 flat fee. Is it? Do you ship to most states now? Where, where, where are our limitations? Um, uh, quite a few. There's still there's some states that are off limits, uh, but uh, for the most Probably part, Utah. yeah, yeah, Utah. <laughs> uh, and I think the the people who live in those states know who they are. <laughs> but <Yeah>. um, <laughs> but of course, anywhere in Colorado, you know, California, Florida, always, all, they're always friendly states and. Uh, so, so what you should do is if you're listening to this, you should order that wine, go and do the hashtag small biz love because we, uh, we want to support all of our businesses in these times of trouble. Uh, we know that uh, at least for me, wine has been making me feel a whole lot better through these, these times, <laughs> <laughs> probably a, a whole lot better too, too many nights of the week. Uh, if you ask my wife anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, Paul, thank you so much for giving us a tour of everything, a little bit of what, what you do. We love that you you're have welcome. great, uh, great taste in wine and wine racks, and I uh, love that you're part of the. And you were in this neighborhood before I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be part of your I'm, neighborhood. I say. Oh well, no thanks. No, it's been hey the the neighborhood's great, and um, and of course, uh, great to see you at Vintage View, man. We we love the racks and love what you're doing over there. 
Absolutely. Well, uh, hopefully this thing doesn't last too much longer. So we might have to do another one of these and we can do a virtual tasting. Love to do that. All right. Well, thanks, Paul. Uh, talk to you soon. Be well, be safe, love that family and uh, yep. let's ship out some more wine. You got it. Thanks, Jake. All right. Have a good day. All right. Cheers. Cheers.